of the world. Today I'm going to be showing you how to low film and how to take your first pictures with the Instax Mini 8 camera. So this is my one. As you can see I have the strawberry pink one and I got my one from Argos and at the moment they're having a sale so if you want to get one I would suggest getting it now. This is just how it looks and it doesn't matter what colour you have, they all load film the same if it's the Mini 8. I'm not sure about the other ones because there are other models but this is specifically for the Mini 8. So when I brought mine, mine came with some film and the film is in these little foil sealy bags. I don't know about other places but in August they give you a film when you buy the camera and this has 10 inside. All the film has 10 inside of them because this takes film in loads of 10. So this is just 10 of them. So now I'm going to show you how you load it into the camera. So this is the camera and all you do to put the film inside is you press down on this to open the back flap and you'll see the lens inside and everything else inside. Also pay close attention to this little yellow sticker over here. This is just the film and I'm going to open it up. So there's a little tear and you just tear it open. So the film is in this and don't try and open this because the films will get exposed to light and then it will not work. That's why they're in this black container so no light can get in. Like I showed you before, there is a yellow line here. This also has a yellow line so you need to put this so it connects with the other one and you just push it into place. Then you close the flap and the film has been loaded. So once the film has been loaded into your camera, you're going to want to take your first picture. And to do this, you press onto this, which is right by the lens, and that turns it on, and you can hear it make like a really weird noise. Bear in mind that your first picture won't actually be a picture, it will just be the front of that plastic thing that you loaded the film with, that black thing. So to get rid of that, so you can start taking pictures, you just press this button like you would normally take a picture and it will come out. Oh. <laughs> it even says on it, this is not a film. So you know that this isn't a picture or anything, it's just a bit of plastic. Now I'm going to take my first picture with this and I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to mess it up. Before I go ahead and take a picture, along the lens you'd see like a house, a cloud, a sun, a really bright sun and a high key. They are all the different light settings that you can have on this. If one of them's lighting up then you just move this ring to where you want it. You can put it on the one that it suggests or the one that you just want it to be. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to take my picture now. So mine just came out and I'll carefully take it. You guys may have heard of that song that's shake it like a Polaroid picture and you may have just heard people telling you to shake it. Don't shake these because it can mess up the film and so just leave it to sit somewhere for a while and then I will show you it once it's developed. After you've taken the first picture and that's the first picture not the first bit of plastic you'll see that over here it will say nine and that means that you've got nine films left in here to use. To turn off the camera you just push in the lens and it turns it off. So the Polaroid has finished developing and this is the finished thing and I really really like this. This is how it just is, it's just a normal Polaroid looking photo. Just to point out that this brand of camera is not actually by Polaroid the company, it's just in a Polaroid style so it's just an instant film camera. <laughs> you guys understand how to load the film and take a picture and if you have any other questions about the Instax then please leave them in the comments below and I'll either reply directly to your comment or try and make a video about your comment or I might put like a few comments into one video and explain it there. Thanks for watching, bye!